a fight before we get to Elizabeth, Ralph Gracie, of course, Steve Nelson, Jim Rivera, Carlos Newton, Conan Silveria, and Carl Franks. Quite a lineup coming your way with the Extreme Fighting 2. Six bouts in all. And of course, as we mentioned, the penthouse pets. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Canals and Nigel Scantleberry. This is the Phantom Weight Division. From Tracy, California, Jason Canals. So come in here, jiu-jitsu expert, 11 and 2, also a great belt in Taekwondo. Right here in Montreal, Nigel Scantleberry. Nigel Canterbury, Canterbury, the hometown hero from right here in Montreal. Yeah, he's the best guy I can find. I can find in this weight class, you know, he's in this whole Canada. He's the most well-rounded fighter we've seen in a long time. Well, this should be quite an interesting bout. Jason Canals trains in the Lion's Den in uh, California with uh, Frank Shamrock. Set to go, 15 minute time limit. And Canals 20 years old, Scandleberry 34, 5'8 to 5'7 for Canals, and their weight exactly the same, 139. And in extreme fighting, John Peretti, the matchmaker, keeping people very close to themselves in weight so you don't have a mismatch. Standing five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in tonight at 139 pounds. That's the weight With limit. a fighting record of 11 and 2 in martial arts. He holds black belts in jiu-jitsu, a green belt in taekwondo. He currently trains in submission, fighting at the lion's den with Ken and Frank Shamrock. He is 20 years old, Jason Canals. We can get into that stuff there. And from right here in Montreal, standing five feet seven inches tall, weighing in tonight 139 pounds, and the 1987 bronze medalist in the World Kickboxing Championships. He is 34 years old. He is Nigel Scantleberry. the ring, 15 minute bouts, 5 minute OT in the championship bouts, we'll talk more about that later, no batting or eye gouging, doctor or referee can stop the bout, we've also had some safety gloves added, you can win by submission, by knockout, by technical knockout, corner throws in the towel, and of course John, submission the most likely of all the scenarios to right. win by. The doctor has broad discretion and so does the referee. Let's see about this uh, strategy session about to occur here. And we... For those of you who saw Extreme Fighting 1, you notice the gloves are different. They are padding. They're for safety purposes, but they do leave the palm open so that the grappler is not given a disadvantage by the safety feature. And we're off. Scheduled for 15 minutes. Canals in the black trunks. Scandlebury. In the purple and the mean-looking like trunks. Well, Scandalbar's standing up like a kickboxer now, and I think Jason's going to shoot. First move, oh, so critical, John. Oh, it's so much in this sport. See the kick? I think Jason's looking for the shoot. And how many matches would you say the guy with the first advantage goes on winning? 
Uh, I think that the aggressor wins at the beginning, but I want to see how technical this guy is, you know? Well, so far, both of them studied jujitsu, looking like they would try to use kickboxing to set that up. And there it is, there's the shoot. He's got him in close. Let's see if he works him from there. A couple of knees, he's got the head. A couple of knees, he's gonna take him to the ground, and this could be the beginning of the fight here. Well, Scandalbury gets on top. He's in great shape, but Let's here is if... Canals trying to get out of it, wrestle himself down. Let's see if Jason knows what he's doing on the bottom. He goes for an armbar. Oh, he escapes from the armbar. Now we have a real fight. Uh, excellent move by Canals to get out of what might have been a closer right away, and he gets himself back in good terms here. What it looks like is uh, Jason's nervous on the outside and doesn't punch and kick near as well as Nigel, but, but he understands the game because he got right out of an armbar and uh, he got out of the mount, and you know how difficult it is to do that. And to get out of the arm bar and the mount right in succession. He's going to the guard, he's starting to work the head. Now Scandalbury puts himself in a good spot here, he's looking. He's gonna mount him again. Gonna try to mount, try to get Canals to submit. See, Jason just went for an ankle crank and missed it. He did that from far outside. Yeah. Now Scandalbury working side control the crowd always believes here John that a, the end of a bout is imminent when they see this position yes or no no uh, I'm just watching to see what he's gonna do that was a bad mount way up in the air there's an ankle he's working for the ankle right now if he turns onto his side he's got the ankle now let's see what he's gonna do with it worst thing you can do is try to get an ankle on a guy who's getting an ankle on you He's got that calf crank. He hasn't figure forward it yet. Scandalbury. See, he's going to turn onto his belly. He's putting some pressure on him now. Scandalbury had himself in good Now he's going.